Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video. Welcome back to Jane Austen July. Today I wanted to talk about the great and glorious thing that is ostentatious. So I think this will be a relatively quick video, but I wanted to have a chat about ostentatious because ostentatious is something that I love very, very much. Um, and I feel like I have mentioned it in passing on this channel before, but not talking about it in detail. So first off, I better explain what ostentatious is. So ostentatious is basically an improvised Jane Austen themed comedy play. So there's a group of about eight actors slash comedians um, and they come together um, once a week when they're performing to stage what they refer to as an improvised Jane Austen novel. So basically Ostentatious is a theatre troupe that put on um, improvised comedy plays, improvised stories in the theme of and sort of the style of Jane Austen. Ostentatious are often on in London, um, often once a week on a Monday. They just finished a season in London at the moment, um, but I think they're in Edinburgh for the Edinburgh Fringe in August, and then I think they're coming back to the West End um, in September. And I absolutely love Ostentatious. Ostentatious is one of my favourite things to go and see in the theatre. Um, partly because Ostentatious is different every time. As I said, it is improvised, um, which means every time you go to see Ostentatious, you see a completely different story. And basically how it works is there are usually per show um, about six or seven actors on stage and a musician. And one of them comes onto the stage in the guise of a Jane Austen scholar um, who says that, as we all know, Jane Austen did not write six novels, but in fact, several hundreds of them. And then they ask the audience for their favourite um, underrated Jane Austen novel. And basically the idea is that if you go to Ostentatious, you bring with you um, a potential title of a book slash play. And then the cast of Ostentatious pick one of the titles that has been suggested and put on a play of that. It is entirely improvised, the characters, the plots, and um, the dialogue, everything is improvised um, on stage in the moment. And it is just absolutely fantastic and absolutely hilarious and such good fun. And if you are a fan of Jane Austen, then you will really, really enjoy it because it's not sort of strictly related to Jane Austen. They don't tend to be using Jane Austen characters or doing Jane Austen retellings or anything like that, but it captures the fun and delight and silliness that sometimes happens in Jane Austen. Um, it's set in the time period of Jane Austen. They're usually with a little bit of like jarring modern dialogue every now and then for comic effects. Um, and it's just utterly delightful. So I've been to see Ostentatious, I think six or seven times um, in the last like maybe five years. And bearing in mind as well that for a good like two of those years, um, theatres were closed because of COVID. Um, so I was trying to work out exactly how many times I have seen Ostentatious. I was trying to remember all the titles that I had seen. Um, and I could think of six, but I'm sure I have missed one. I'm sure I've forgotten one. So I'm sure, I'm sure I must have um, been more done six times. I think I think it's probably more like seven or eight. And every show I have seen from Ostentatious has been hilarious and has been excellent and has been such good fun. Um, I feel like it's very hard to explain how amazing Ostentatious is if you haven't been, but I wanted to make a quick video talking about Ostentatious because it has brought me such joy. And as a Jane Austen fan, it has brought me such like delight and it's so fun. Um, and I love that you can keep going back and it's always a different story because I just feel like I'll keep seeing Ostentatious twice a year forever for as long as I keep performing. It's also a lot cheaper to go and see than most things that are on in the West End in London, which means I feel like I can go twice a year. Um, and it is just a complete and utter delight. And I've so enjoyed going with lots of friends who like Jane Austen over the years. Basically, I just wanted to briefly talk about how much I love Ostentatious. I don't have that too much more to say apart from that, um, but I thought I would talk about them in case there is anyone who watches my channel who is, um, you know, living in the UK and who hasn't seen Ostentatious before and might manage to at some point in the future because it's such a joy. It's so funny, it's so silly, but it's also really delightful. Um, and I'm always really impressed by how in like a few hours of improvised comedy, they manage to put a plot together that does make sense, that does have a dramatic or romantic ending or whatever, um, where the dialogue is fun, where the characters are funny, um, where, Jane Austen's books and the Regency period are like kind of engaged with um, in a fun way and it's just such a delight. So yes, I think that's mostly what I wanted to say for today. Just a quick video, but I did want to talk about how amazing a um, production, how amazing a show Ostentatious is.
So that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video. Bye.